me right now. Um, actually, we now got two members of the first guests at this time. We got the Twinberries, or at least half of them at the moment. Uh, half of us. Half the Twinberries is, is better than none. <laughs> I, I suppose it depends on whether you're talking about the upper or the lower half. <laughs> uh, how's it going, fellas? Going well, really well. well. How are you, sir? Oh, good, good. Thank you all so much for being on uh, this evening. Truly appreciate it. Stig, is that you? Pleasure. It, it is me. It's me. All, all the way over here in the sales. That's how Kentucky Very good. people Very say good. the sigh. Bass players AWOL, as usual. <laughs> well, uh, I've been a fan of you fellas for quite some time. Um, I just played a song, Radio Random. Uh, just moments ago, I love the tune. And uh, well, thank you. And Trevor wrote that. Cool, cool. Thank you, good citizen. <laughs> Let's talk about that record, in particular Radio Wendell. What was it like recording that record, and what's it like getting the chance to perform in front of the audience this particular song? Trevor, do you want to handle the first part of that? Yes, I handle. The- I, I, I thought of that song when I woke up one morning, and um, and it was kind of a reflection of well, my iPod, which is kind of all over the place, as my thoughts are. And so I was kind of thinking about the playlist in me, and that led to the song. Uh, wrote it rather quickly, uh, brought the tune such over to Stig, and uh, he worked a little studio magic on it. It was a great song. It was absolutely right in line with everything that we play from other bands, and so we all fell into it rather quickly, and uh, so it's it rather natural to record it. Which is, uh, which it is to out. say, it sounds like every other band we do, and even <laughs> sounds a little bit like Welcome Back, Cotter. So don't is sue me. BB- I'm called in. Is this the BBC? It's not. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, here's, here's Sir Richard calling in. How's it going, sir? I'm calling in from under a bar. Cool. He's, he's been they, they drinking the under a bar. They set the bar low for you, did they? They've always put the bar low for me. That's why I have to lay down. <laughs> now you've got three out of four of us, Kenny. Uh, yes, I do. Um, right now, I know another person is calling in for some reason, you know, Technical issues is coming into play. Uh, now it's a party because there's three of us. So. 75%. Yeah, actually, and actually, the fourth one never talked. Sorry. He hasn't spoken since yeah. 1975. That's <laughs> correct. His, his real name is Gringo Twigginberry. He's from the South. But he, uh, he spent a lot of time in India, so he went with Hare Krishna. I see, I see. Uh, yeah. So the first time I got a chance to see you fellas perform in person was the Lexus and Music Awards last year. Yeah. Uh, I'm very sorry. And very sorry. Oh no, not not at all. I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, the music, and everything, and I enjoyed the exchanges between you guys and Bill Mack, uh alongside Angie Devin. <laughs> I'm not sure he enjoyed it. Bill Mack. <laughs> Very lovely man. Yeah. <laughs> very, very entertaining. I mean, so obviously there's some history between you guys and Bill. Talk about the the relation, the friendship that you guys have towards each other. Actually, that that evening was the first time we'd ever. Oh. And okay. uh, yeah. So, um, but he's very. He's a very funny to us and, and sort of our humor very quick he sort of was on the same headlights look but um, yeah, Bill became a fan Angie was a lot better to look at from, from <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm Although, not saying, Bill, Bill's quite attractive the same Angie Bevan does look for 
Yes. Yeah, she didn't quite know how to take us, but Bill Bill no. fell into it ra- rather quickly and um, became an instant fan and came out to several of our shows and and uh, you know he, he remained a big fan. So yeah, that was actually the first night we'd uh, we'd ever met him. So wow. Okay. And, and then against his better judgment, David McLean invited us to do it again this year. Wow. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was just a... It's only going to go downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I mean, I, I enjoyed the, the, the exchanges and everything. I enjoyed the music. Y'all did an outstanding job. And I got a closer look at you fellas at the awards this past year. You won the DJ. Uh, felt pretty good making my way to the stage while the music played. Um, Congratulations. Scott Webb. Did we play Spirit of the Radio when you came up? That was played. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that was, sounds right. Yeah. Yeah. So. We tried to get um, songs that were sort of, uh, you know, hinted at the award, and so, you know, sort of a, in a humorous way. So, for instance, you know, the the guitar repair played while my, while my guitar gently weeps. You know, things like that. So, it's sort of inside jokes for musicians, right? So, so, so you, you didn't mind the British musicians playing Canadian because it's kind of close. It's like well, we did Britain, we did get a letter from the Prime Minister of, of Canada ask us not to ever do anything Canadian again. Pretty <laughs> hard. Hey, I I didn't mind at all. I mean, I enjoyed it, and I I I, I was very pleased. Let's just put it that way. I was very pleased. Uh, and uh, thank you, fellas, for being part of that particular night. You know, that's that's the first. Oh, award. absolutely. That was the first award I've ever won of anything, and I've been doing this whole radio thing for almost ten years, or technically ten years as of this month. So it was just it came for a circle for me. So it, it, well, it, well, after interviewing us, they might revoke it. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on a seri- on a serious note, yeah. though, the award ceremony was just a really great time to acknowledge and support people that make local music in this area what it is, you know. And so, oh, it's, it, 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 it's certainly well deserved. I mean, you obviously have enough of a following of devoted listeners that think highly enough of your work to nominate. Not anymore. Not anymore. Well, Not- I suppose I should put that in. Actually, um, <laughs> I used to have a devoted following until the Twiggenberries came on, and he's doing now. It's all. <laughs> I, I told you we're going to regret this, Kenny. No, no, I'm not biased at all. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I've I've had people that could sometimes be a little shy or whatever, but you guys are not Whoa. shy whatsoever. <laughs> so. I'm not yeah, a problem with this man. We're good. not that. <laughs> you know, Leslie Nielsen not, just called with your ratings. They're going down. <laughs> right, most shows we do, we're not wearing anything. We're not shy at all. No, no, I mean... He did say he got a closer look at it, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I did. It quite wasn't from the back. It's the 50s now. No. <laughs> ah. Trust me, we've all taken a shower in our showers at home. We've all all right, that's the enough. <laughs> Big and berries. We just took, yeah, we just took down the mirrors. <laughs> the Twig and Berries joining us here on Chilling with Jeff and Katie C here on TMVCafe.com. Um, now, for for this particular band, uh, let's let's talk about how did the Twig got together? How did this band came about? And I, I've been going to a variety of shows for the last years. Uh, and you have a British cover, if you will. So what? How did That's this, correct. So how did y'all? How did y'all got put together? How did that uh, Twigger Berries came about? Well, well we um, had been talking. It's, it's we the weirdest uh, thing. I, 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 <laughs> How about it? Well, it depends on your answer. Thank you. Well, we started playing, actually. We wanted to be the house band for the pub 
which is a, a cleverly named British pub in Lexington called The Pub. And so we all formed uh, with the intention of being the house for the um, British restaurant. Kind and of like we never yeah, yeah, sort of off. like that. And uh, so we never really figured that it would go anywhere beyond the pub. And um, when the, the pub decided that uh, we had sort of outgrown them, uh, we thought, well, it's just, it was while it lasted or whatever, but probably from here and for our gigs and uh, and, uh it, it's, it's, it's still it's still fun the, the concept here we are. Um, the, the, the strange part of the whole thing is the concept was formed out of church where they had called the police on us the, the church police on us and, <laughs> <laughs> yeah excellent right, the actually, place after we played there yeah, we actually all played in the same church for a little while, and for some reason we were standing around wondering what what could be more ridiculous than what we were currently doing, and this was it. Yeah. So, so the, um, can we mention at this point where we're playing next? Is that allowed? Go right ahead. Oh, yeah, can we, go right can we plug our next gig? Please, please. Yeah. The floor is yours. And, and, and. Steve, do you want to provide the details? Oh, sure, yeah. This coming Friday, uh, we're playing the St. Patrick's Day show at Willie's Locally Known. So if there's anything more entertaining than Willie's and Twiggenberry's, I'd like to know what it is. And that's on Southland Drive in, in Lexington. Southland Drive, and I believe there's no cover at all. Ooh, what time I'm covered at Twiggenberry. What time do we show up? I, I believe we start at nine o'clock. That's good to know. Nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. Really locally known on Southland Drive, and uh, it's yeah, going to be crazy. Yeah, this means a British band right. will be attempting some Irish tunes. Found to be an international right. we, we do songs. The Troubles the will be back, right? What? We do songs from the UK, so that includes Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and England. Of expanding our scope. Songs from Wales. Yeah, we're sort of expanding this Irish particular show. There's some nice sing along Sorry. Irish things going happening. Are you going to come out, Kenny? Are you going to turn up? Yeah. Uh, I'll see what I, I'll see if I can. You know, that's definitely. That's <laughs> 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 like my whole day. You've got some other whole plans. dating career. No, I mean, I mean my I'm, wife gave me the same answer. Just so you know. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't, are you gonna do it? Because it'll be good. I might show up, but if what you sound like, then I don't think so. <laughs> that's what she. That's what she said to me tonight. Wow, that's interesting. She says that to him every night. Right, that's true. Are you gonna be good? I'll show up. I'll come to bed if you're gonna be any good. That didn't sound it's right. Never any. <laughs> really didn't. Sound I mean, very this right. isn't like live on the air, is it, Kenny? This is like you're gonna you're gonna edit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is this, no, this is live. <laughs> this is live. This is recorded. Oh, yeah. uh, right, we're gonna play a fine again. <laughs> oh man! And Hello, FCC. Yeah. Hello, FCC. Hello, NSA, CIA. <laughs> no, no, I'm doing this on the Samsung TV, so we know the NSA and the CIA are. There's no oh, MI6 as well. <laughs> just, just for the record, fellas, there is no FCC on TMV Cafe. Uh, no. Nah. Nah. Well, so not. That, yeah. <laughs> so, not Trevor, yeah. that does not. Not until they find out. out. <laughs> Uh, oh, trust me, we're, we're the last thing on the FC minds, that's for sure. So, the relief. Yeah. So. Well. Yeah, they're, they're normally all men, so Twiggenberries would be the last thing on their minds. Right. You can, no. True. True. <laughs> so, uh, the the Twiggenberries are going to perform at Willie's lovely known. St. Patrick's Day is upon us, so 
check these fellas out. Very entertaining, very extraordinary band. Uh, they are so awesome, and just, uh, you you in for a good treat. I also seen you as Lakeside Live this past summer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah that was the first time I actually talked to you all. Um, talk to you. I had a chatted, chatted, if you will. Uh, I definitely need to come back to that for sure. Uh, to Lake oh yes, we have, we've already gotten booked. Awesome, that's awesome. Just a great people. Yeah, just a great opportunity to get music. Oh yeah, definitely at the the that in, particularly in that area with the weather so warm and you know. Oh and, yeah, the the breeze coming off the lake. Yeah, it's just it's it's. A, yeah, that's actually. That's actually about as close to the Atlantic Ocean as we get in this area. Pretty much, yeah. It's got, it's got an ocean feel. And if you're the bass player, you can go dipping with... Oh, yeah. yeah I can feed. The stage is big enough that we can have our horn section, which is all yes. on the brass monkeys. The brass monkeys. Ooh, we synchronized that. That was good. Nice. nice. That was <laughs> in the area. That was almost Let's try that Dublin. again. Let's try that again. One, two, three. The Brass Monkey. The Brass, brass Monkey. monkey. No, 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 no. You didn't <laughs> do it that time. You didn't synchronize it. It's completely off. Completely off. Alpha well, that'd be like the Brass Monkeys, wouldn't it? It would be. It would be rather like your bass timing also. Can yeah. you, do you have any more questions for us, or do you want us to do that base, I mean. I'm, I'm enjoying this, man. I mean, <laughs> I'm enjoying this. This is, hey, anything can happen on TMV Cafe. Anything can quite honestly happen on TMV Kenny C. So yeah, what you what you don't know is that we're all ridiculous. <laughs> it just went off the rails after what was it? <laughs> Radio Random. <laughs> yeah, that was the last year. So that, got, was the last, so. that was the one and only question he got to ask. After that, it just went completely bonkers. Pretty much. <laughs> We're actually you all know, in the same tub. But on, on a serious note, though, and, and, and not really serious, but that really is what we enjoy about this band, is because, you know, we've we've all seen bands that are they're, they're good technically, but they don't really seem like they're having time on stage. They're all very into it, very serious and our, our, our sort of our operating principle has always been take the music seriously and so we have a good time and let's, let's face it music should be fun right absolutely but, well you yeah, know it's, it's, it's a good point Stig the reality is that I, I think every time we play the goal is to get one of us laughing on stage so hard that we can't play something correctly or we can't sing it correctly so Lyric oh, changes, changes. We don't do the script. We don't write what we play. We try to practice what we play, but half the time we're playing songs that we haven't practiced or songs that we don't know. I mean, it's, it's oh, quite keep a talking, nice. sir. Richard, you're making us keep talking, sir. Richard, you're making us sound like like bloody amateurs. Well, we no, it's, you know, if it's a song that we've played 500 times, then then our goal is to sort of crack everybody up. Because we've played the song 500 times and. So let's do something fun with it, right? That's better. Right. That, that, that's yeah, much are, better. There are a few songs that, that we take seriously. Uh, yes is Roundabout is one song that we take very seriously because it's just such a joy to play from a musician standpoint. So, Oh, right. Uh, it's also it's bloody really difficult. You can't right. go to sleep you can't, that that, you, you can't laugh during Roundabout because if you do, you like miss the meter change. You're off from the rest of the band and you just... You know, you sound completely bloody incompetent. And then oh, yeah. it was, um, it, it, it's, it's not very like a Rolling Stone, Stone song where, you know, you can play the wrong game and, it, oh, that's him doing his Keith Richards part, you know. Right. Well, we're, we're, <laughs> we're sober at playing it than the Stones were when they recorded it, so. so better than that, don't, don't take that. We are the Rolling Stones fans. I mean, it's uh, they're, they're obviously part of uh, British music. Rolling Stones, The Who, The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, and you can name everything you grew up with listening to. And 
And uh, those are the songs that have had huge influences on us. And so it's a lot of fun to be able to play those songs and the, using the, the same type of uh, sense of humor that you hear on the phone. So it's, it's a strange conglomeration of uh, a bunch of fake English accents and real English music. I do have a British accent. The British, <laughs> British accent Can say tends say to go rather Australian I, towards the end of the night, you know. Away by the end of the night, we start calling each other by. Yeah, we sort of forget the character. Right, because perception. Oh, the dog gets down. Oh, I got you. Got you. Keep, keep the There's a healthy. There's a reason healthy we left character. England, you know. There's a, a reason very healthy. And spinal tap. And spinal. <laughs> Spinal tap yeah. and, and Monty the Python ones, meets spinal. The young ones, the ruffles. It's all right. that. That very strange sense of humor, okay, that comes to UK. See <laughs> we just did there, yes. <laughs> we took period. You period period. It's just. It's like my bloody phone. I have to keep taking periods out whenever I play UK. <laughs> you know, people ask us if we play country music, and we do tell them that we play country music. It just happens to be country. Let's <laughs> try it. Well played. Well played. Uh, so even if you ask us to play Mustang Sally, we couldn't. There you go. Yeah, we don't, we don't go in... Well, we, 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 we probably would come into a lack of agreement about which chord to play. Uh -huh. What was Coldplay? No, no, I said I said we probably could, but we'd come to a lack of agreement over which chord to play. Oh, well, then you... For, for Mustang Sally. Coldplay, you know? I know that Coldplay you know, like, you know, different ways play. you could play it. The truth of it is there's so many bands here in the area that play songs like that that we thought, well, why be the the you know 50th band that does all the the same old tunes why not play just what we like to play and so that's what we're doing and um, we just basically played songs that we like and drew our audience to us and um, they seem to like it yeah we figured somebody if we liked it somebody else had to like it even if it's only 10 other people in the night <laughs> right and well, maybe not people keep dialogue. turning up at our shows. Well, say I definitely, I definitely feel you, uh, fellas, in that regard. You know, you know, every, be be different. Separate yourself from the pack. And exactly. And you know, it, it, it's and still, yeah, 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 got a good thing going. On. Fans go to the shows to to dance, to boogie, to to laugh and, and have fun. And uh, you fellas do that very well. Y'all entertain the crowd very well. For more info on the Twiggerberries, they do have a website, twiggerberries.com. They got merchandise. You can check out upcoming shows. And, you know, Radio Random, which I played earlier, it is available on iTunes. So right. go and Google Play. And, and, and Google Play as well. So. Purchase the single, support local music, support the Eagles, because I say so. Regardless. Buy that single. Help us to retire and I, in comfort and luxury. And I need that I need that cup of coffee. <laughs> you all sound like you're at a baseball game. <laughs> Fellas, it was great chatting with you all. Thank you so much for your continued success. And if I don't see y'all on the seventeenth, I'll see y'all down the road. Thanks, Wonderful. Kenny. Uh, thank Thanks you so much. Have a, have a good night. Thanks, citizen. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, fellas. Yeah, you have a good night. Thank you, too. Good night. Bye-bye.